So we got this beautiful golf pompano here. Uh, nice uh, dry skin, like to get the fish nice and dry before we go to cut it so it's not slippery and all over the place. Um, we're gonna turn it. Are these coming out of Florida or do you know where we're getting these? These are coming out of Florida, yep. Awesome. So we're gonna come right up at the top here, come down right behind this fin and then come right down the back of the fish. Just fall on the backbone Just there? fall on the backbone all the way down, get to the tail, and I like to come across. Then I like to flip it and get the other side going. Same way, come Just down. So the height on the fish? Yep. Otherwise, you take one fillet off and then your fish is kind of off balance. It kind of rolls like And that. it's hard to get all that meat off of there. And so we want to, you know, we've gone to all the effort to catch this fish and we want to pay homage to it, be sure we get all the meat off of it, not leave anything on the bone. We're just going to go tight to the bone here. So tell me about the scales on a pompano. Obviously, they're they're teeny, you know, teeny Super tiny. Super small. We don't we don't really take any time to try to take those guys off. Um, I know most most fish you want to scale, but a pompano you can tell they're so small. Correct. The scales. So if you cook those hard enough, they almost they'll get, get nice crispy. and crispy, um, and really kind of help the skin be nice and crispy as well. You can see that beautiful flesh. Yeah. Obviously, I love the iridescence of a pompano, but I mean, it's such, even as a small fish, it's just such a, a, a meaty, strong fish. Yep. Having, I know both of us have caught these before, they're such a fun fighting fish. Oh, they're their size. so much fun. An amazing, delicious, um, as I mentioned earlier, they're a little oily, so they're oh. great on the grill. Um, it's just, it's one of my favorite fishes. So we'll come in, we're just gonna run our knife right through here. We're kind of cleaning off yep. some of the... That, that's a little bit of the gut there on the on the side. Then you got these pin bones here. Okay. They come through, and V these guys out. So right now you're just cutting through, avoiding the backbones, avoiding any spines. Yep. Those are the little bones that can get in your throat there that aren't desirable. And then I'm gonna come through and just kind of V this bloodline out a little bit. And that bloodline, that's, that gives it that kind of metallic-y punch yeah. sometimes. Yeah, and, and you know, a lot of times that's also, it's gonna, if you get rid of most of that, it also kind of helps take some of that pungent flavor out like you pointed out. I mean, oftentimes when you get something like a mackerel or something with a heavy bloodline, it has that, that metallic -y flavor like you got punched in the mouth. That's, yeah. So yep. cleaning, I see that, cleaning that bloodline out reduces a lot of that. That's right. I yeah. even do that with catfish. Yeah, I mean, fish. the bloodline is always going to be the strongest part of the fish. Yep. So you want to get that out if, if you don't like that. So These look beautiful. Let's get this salad together and uh, so we get this guy on the grill. Let's do it. Awesome. So yeah, pompano's cleaned up. We've got our pickled peppers here. We've got some ahi dolces, which is a sweet pepper, kind of like a habanero without the heat. Mm -hmm. Some Jimmy Nardellos, jalapenos. There's a little bit of garlic and uh, and, and uh, onion in here. And then half and half, vinegar and, and water and a little bit of salt. We hot, heat it up, pour it over the peppers, let it sit, and that's it. So you're gonna get nice fruity, fruity peppers in this, savory garlic. I mean, this is gonna be a really nice, balanced flavor. Here. Absolutely, it's gonna go great with the fish. The reason I like doing peppers with the fish, mm -hmm. like pompano, this goes great with mackerel, um, is it's, a, it's an oily fish. And so you've yep. got these nice hot peppers, the acidity, it goes well with, with, the, with the fish itself. So um, that, those are our peppers there. And then we're, we're gonna top that with some herb breadcrumbs. Okay. So here we have, some ciabatta bread that we make at the restaurant. And we, we take this and we grind it up nice and small. We uh, melt some butter with mm -hmm. lots of garlic in there and then mix that and toast those guys off. So these guys, uh, we, we've toasted these off a little bit, but closer to time, we'll pop them back in the oven just to crisp them up. And then we're gonna mix those with some fresh parsley and chives and lemon zest. So um, almost like garlicky croutons and then you're gonna brighten it up with all those fresh Absolutely. herbs and lemon. and. Awesome. Well, I say let's get the uh, the rest of this uh, breadcrumb mixed together. Let's do it. So we're going to start off with a little bit of chive and just a nice slice on these chives. We cut these ends off here. Nice thin slice. On our chives, put those in our bowl. 
We have our breadcrumbs, and then a little bit of parsley as well. So why are you rolling that parsley like that? I'm just rolling it up, kind of keep it tight together um, and get a nice chiffonade on it. And then we're gonna run our knife back through here. Uh, just nice fresh pop of herb and color as well on these breadcrumbs. So that goes in, and then to our breadcrumbs, we're gonna add some fresh lemon zest, which is gonna give this a nice, you know, just a nice pop of color, and also uh, the oil in here is, goes nice with a fish. I mean, you can immediately smell all the oils Absolutely. and the skin and the zest. I mean, it just smells like lemon head candy. This right just now. brings everything together. These breadcrumbs are nice and citrusy, um, and then we'll mix this guy up really nice. And then this mixture, is gonna go directly on top of our fish. Uh, our fish is gonna rest on a bed of the pickled peppers. Mm -hmm. We're gonna mix those peppers with a little bit of fresh onion um, to give it a nice uh, little kick of onion flavor there. Um, and then the grilled fish on top, and we're gonna take uh, our breadcrumbs and go on top of that. So I love how bright and vibrant this is. Obviously, it's a beautiful fish, uh, you know, especially when it's fresh and running during Pompano season. But to highlight it with, with such simple but robust ingredients. Absolutely. You've got the fresh herbs, fresh lemon zest, and all of the work it takes to grow peppers. But once you grow them, they're in abundance. That's so you right. got to do something with Preserve them. Preserve them. And I love this the preservation and, and showing some of this, this history. I'm sure this was something that was cherished and passed down, and your family was preparing and pickling and preserving. And uh, I love the, the fact that you're using these. Well, you know, pepper sauce has been a southern staple in, the, in their larder for decades. Oh yeah. And um, you know, growing up, we had pepper sauce always on the table. We used mm. it for everything, whether Spice it be greens life. or whatever. Yeah, it's just delicious. So it's good stuff. And it goes great with this fish. I say let's get this, uh, this fish on the grill. Awesome, let's do it.